Hey everyone, May is CalFresh Awareness Month and we wanted to highlight eatfresh.org. It's CalFresh's recipe website and they've got lots of tasty recipes that you can cook at home. They're easy recipes and you can buy the ingredients with your CalFresh benefits. So this is Cooking with CalFresh. Today we're making teriyaki turkey meatballs with a side of spicy green beans and the recipe will be linked in the description. Let's start off with our meatballs and for that you're going to need a large mixing bowl to which you will add one pound of ground turkey, one quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, half of a beaten egg, one green onion thinly sliced, one clove of garlic minced or if you're like me just use a garlic press, half of a tablespoon of freshly grated ginger, half a tablespoon of soy sauce, and a quarter tablespoon of white pepper. Then after a thorough hand wash you will mix all these items together until they are well combined. Grab a large baking sheet, spray it with cooking spray, and now it's time to turn our ground turkey mixture into meatballs. Roll them by hand into one and a quarter inch to one and a half inch meatballs. You should get about a dozen meatballs out of this. Once you have your meatballs all rolled up and laid out on your baking sheet, place them in a preheated 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And while that's cooking, it's time to make the sauce for these meatballs. In a small bowl, whisk together half a tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. Once mixed, set this aside, and now it's time to shift our focus to the stovetop, where in a small saucepan we will put two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of brown sugar, a pinch of garlic powder, one quarter tablespoon of ground ginger, one and a half tablespoons of honey, and about one and a half ounces of water. Let that sit over medium heat until it comes to a simmer. Then add your cornstarch mixture and stir until thickened enough to coat the back of a spoon. This should take about two minutes. This should be about the time your meatballs are done cooking, so take them out of the oven, make sure they reach the requisite 165 degrees, and then place them in a mixing bowl. Add our sauce, toss the meatballs until evenly coated, and congratulations, you've completed part one of our dish. Now it's time to make our spicy green beans. First thing you'll need is a half pound of green beans. Trim the ends off and cut them into bite-sized pieces. Once you've done that, set those aside and in a bowl, you're gonna mix two cloves of garlic finely chopped, or again, you can just use a garlic press, one teaspoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of crushed red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of ground ginger, and one teaspoon of lemon juice. Now this is supposed to be a sauce, but it's not looking very sauce-like, so I added an extra teaspoon of soy sauce and an extra teaspoon of lemon juice, and voila, we have ourselves a sauce. Now let's head back to the stovetop where you've placed a large frying pan over medium heat. Add about a tablespoon of canola oil, or whatever cooking oil you prefer, and once the oil is hot, it's time to add our green beans. Spread them out and let them cook for about a minute or until they turn extra green. Then add a quarter of a cup of water and let it cook for another two minutes until the water is mostly gone. Now let's take the sauce we mixed earlier and add it to our green beans, and mix until evenly coated. Cook for another two minutes or so until everything is fragrant and most of the liquid is gone. The next step is to plate this for a photo, and then, once you have that photo, the best part, it is time to eat. Right now you're probably wondering how it tastes, and the answer is delicious. The feedback was universally positive, so I'm going to call this one a huge success. Uh -huh.